be of either, let's say, first shutting down the government or second, even potentially defaulting on the U.S. debt for the journey of the Well, let's make sure we keep this in historical perspective. Uh, we have shut down government 17 times in the last 50 years. Uh, it sounds like it's a radical idea and it's the first time we're contemplating it. It's actually happened 17 times in America and nobody's ever spoken it in such radical terms as the Democrats are doing this year. Remember, these are Nancy Pelosi called us uh, arsonists, Harry Reid called us anarchists. Uh, I mean, the terminology and the language that's being used by folks who sit on the same uh, you know, the same floor of a deliberative body are, in my opinion, way beyond what anyone should expect in a democracy and, and the kind of respect that once... How are you going to reach any kind of compromise when those are the kind of insults that are levied on people? That you know, uh, the issue is not shutting down government. The issue is, can we get a resolution done that this issue result in the next two or three weeks? If you, you know, if you, if you hit the mark, uh, of uh, October 1st, that doesn't mean government shuts down. Uh, if usually you can pay all the bills in 12 or 13 more days, and then you can, the only time you go into default is if you don't pay the interest bill, which is about $18 million, $18 million a month, you got plenty of money to pay that. And so this issue will get resolved. But, uh, but the Democrats are using it as a web issue and misrepresenting it as if it was the first time the nations ever contemplated going beyond the, uh, the new day. So you don't believe there would be any major economic consequences for a, for a government shutdown or a default? I'm convinced there won't be a, uh, uh, I, I'm convinced there will be a, this day. there will be a, a solution on or before, on or, or before or after October 1st that will not include 